Now, I know everybody in the world is dying to know how my adventures at the Department of Motor Vehicles went yesterday, but perhaps I'll save the end of that story for another day. But today, I just have a little bit of room left here on the bottom of this page of my sketch diary. And the title for the entry for my sketch diary today is The Wasp. Now, let me see if I can find a... Uh, ah, here we are. We have a visual aid. I've been spending, I spent over a hundred hours since I've bought in Diablo 3 trying to best the game and beat, beat it as beat it can be, uh, take it all the way to the Inferno level with my friends and come out victorious. Now I'm on Inferno now. I remember going through Act 1 of Inferno saying, oh, this is disappointing. This is kind of easy. I thought that Inferno would be a lot, lot harder. And then I got to Act 2. I was pretty pleased with myself. And I was walking around in the desert in the heat. And um, there was a wasp. Just a little critter. Nothing very special. Nothing very omnipotent or powerful about the wasp. But one second. And where was I? Oh yes, distracted. This wasp. Here I was sitting in Act 2 of Inferno. And it's an Inferno again today. It's been like 94, 95 degrees for the past three or four days. There's heat waves all over America. So I was sitting with about 30,000 life, 30,000 hit points. And I got stung by a wasp and I died instantly I don't know how much damage that wasp did to my little witch doctor on Diablo 3 or how much uh, I don't know if he's allergic you know I don't know if he needs to start carrying an EpiPen in his backpack but ironically I came out to the garage to do a workout <sighs> here in my little workout zone and it's so hot in here you have no idea how hot it is in this garage. It's cold in the winter time and it's hot as a sauna in the summer. And there was a big honking wasp buzzing on this window trying to get out. And I don't know if I wanted revenge on a wasp or if I just, you know, wanted it dead or out of here because I didn't want it being around here and stinging my ladies. I got three ladies that live in the house out there and I don't want any of them to have a bad running like my witch doctor did with a wasp. So I took my sweaty, stinky towel here and tried to squish the wasp against the glass. No, no. If I had a rolled up newspaper, I would beat myself on the nose with it. No, uh, I guess I didn't know my own strength or I didn't realize how feeble the windows are here. Just pushing up against the window caused the glass to shatter. And now I need a new window. The good news is, I expected these little towel guards to be torn asunder and there to be torrents of water and rain and ruin right here in my garage because it rained pretty hard and heavy last night with all those winds. But uh, <sighs> this little towel band-aid is not going to do. Um, I want to thank the good people at Winnebago Mental Health for giving me my towels to cover up my window. Every time I work out in the weight room, I get a really sweaty bottom, and I usually bring a towel home to sit on the seat so I don't kind of ruin my Vinnie Man and get stinky. But someday, someday I will return these towels to work. But uh, for now, they're keeping the wasps out, I hope. But a clever enough wasp probably could slip through the cracks. <sighs>